Hello, good morning, everybody. Sorry, I'm just about to run out for the day and um, just to give my two cents on this Yul Edoche and his second wife drama. Um, this is this woman, Roman Kuchinere. So Yul Edoche is married, has married his um, side, his girlfriend, um, who, has, who had given him a child. A couple of months later on, he married her because the story was going to be published by another blogger and he rather than let that lady beat him to it i believe he's a lady you know he beat him to it he said to come out and kind of act responsible and say hey i have a child so you that she is married to a second wife so what's the big deal it's not the first he wouldn't be the last but here's my problem with it it's not what he did, it's how he did it, it's the deceit. Now if the stories are to be believed, it's you married his first wife, May, 22, more than 22 years ago. I mean when he was 22, I beg your pardon, when he was 22. And from several sources it seemed like you had married her because perhaps the family you know how our parents especially the um the older generation if you get to go pregnant then the responsible thing is to marry that person so i believe that if it is true that she was pregnant at the time peter Duce would have said to him you made her pregnant you marry her because i hear that he's not very close 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 with his father and he maybe probably had a rebel spirit from when he was young so the father must have said, you're going to marry that girl. And so they got married. And they've been together for close to 17 plus years. And all of this while, you had come out to give us the impression that his wife has been very tolerant and all of that. What I am saying is, is what you tolerate festers. So my question for me is, is this really the first incident or have you always turned the other eye? Because your husband said you have not given him any stress. So how much... Have you allowed you to get away with? That's my very first question. How much did you allow you to get away with? My second question for me is all of this time that you have been with this guy, what have you done for yourself? Have you stayed home to be the homemaker? In the event that things like this ever did happen, what is your backup plan? A lot of women don't have a backup plan. So if you had married May because she was pregnant, I don't think it should surprise anybody why this is happening again. Now he has married this lady because that is his solution. That's how he was taught. When you get a girl pregnant, you do the responsible thing. And what is the responsible thing? It is to marry this person. So now he's pursuing politics. So ideally, he feels that, look, the only way that I'm going to manage the situation is I got her pregnant, she's had my baby, I've got to marry her before this thing blows out of proportion. So for me, it's not, there are people who go into polygamous, five, six, seven wives, but it has to be something that you agree with your wife. You have to let your wife know that this is what you want to do. And for those of us who, ladies as well, I mean, saying this, it makes it seem like men don't have a mind of their own or self-control and all of that. But you really should watch out for who you allow into your home, women. You should allow, you should be careful who you allow into your home. This Judy lady, I hear, allegedly has two children from another man. And now this is her third child and Yul's fifth child. So this whole situation says a lot about the character of Yul and Judy. Maybe they are a match made in heaven. Maybe they are better suited for each other. May really needs to figure out what her role is and what her position is in all of this and decide what she wants to do going forward. But you need to watch out for the patterns of the person that you are with. The patterns matter and the patterns are not in your favor. And if there's going to be a third wife, it is most likely going to be if he knocks somebody up again and she gets pregnant and gets, has a baby, that's his go-to solution. He's going to do it again. May take care of yourself. All right? Stay strong. God bless.